welcome back to my channel where today we have a very special unboxing where we're going to unbox this x-men trading card game two player starter over here and this actually came out in the year 2000 when the first x-men movie was actually released and that was the time when it was about to hit cinemas i believe this game came out during the same period as well and yeah so uh, we're going to see a lot of the characters that appeared in the very first movie such as Professor X and Magneto along with Sabretooth and Wolverine who is one of my most favorite characters and these are the starter contents that we can find inside this two player starter looks like we got two pre-constructed decks we even got a full size comic book and here's Wolverine as you can see the artwork are actually based on the movie itself that Wolverine is wearing the black leather jacket costume that he wore in the movie and here we go looks like that's the starter box and yeah let's put that aside and let's take a look at this pamphlet slash and win looks like you can win some prizes for this uh, game if you were to go to the website and let's take a look at this comic book over here it's really cool that it included a full fully colored comic book as well as you can see, these characters were based off their movie designs. And looks like these stories happens after the movies. Because I don't recall Rogue and Wolverine running down and attacking the Brotherhood. You can see the artwork. And looks like this is the advertisement for the game. And let's take a look. And that's actually the booster pack. It looks like there will be a couple more characters that will be introduced inside this card game that didn't appear in the movies. At least not in the movies yet when this was released. We've got Cyclops. Man, this is really, really 90s kind of artwork. And here we go. we got Colossus, Angel, and Psylocke. Okay, they are making their first appearance inside this X-Men comic book. That's really interesting. Okay, so hopefully we'll get to see those characters appear inside this uh, starter box set as well. Now granted, I do not have any idea how to play this game. When it came out, I was maybe a little too young to understand what was really going on. But I've always wanted to actually play this game. I do remember going to like comic book stores and see that they're releasing this new trading card game. And I really wanted to know more about it, but you know, I didn't have the funds to buy the game. During that point in time, I was still collecting those uh, Marvel cards with the artwork. And here we got three dices. Looks like it's a 1 to 6 printed. Okay, that looks like pretty good rows. A 3, a 5, and a 6. And here is the A deck and a B deck. So I think maybe one deck is the villain deck and one deck is the heroes deck. That's a very nice way to actually introduce the game. But you can play either the good guys or the bad guys. It looks like we've got some punch out tokens as well. And let's take a look at the decks later. Looks like that was Professor X. And looks like this is the foil promo card. Very nice. Looks like that artwork is actually a, a picture from the movie. Oh, okay. It's the same picture as you find on the rule book. It's all folded up. Okay, let's quick uh, give a quick glance of the rule book. I'm going to take my time to actually learn how to play this game. This is something that I've always wanted to learn. Okay, there's a lot and a lot of words. That looks like the checklist. Got an FAQ and a glossary. And the last few pages would just be the x -Men logo. Okay, put that aside. It looks like we got a, a survey form that you can send back to Wizards of the Coast. Okay, you know, I wonder if this is still valid. <laughs> and over here, we have the play mat, which is designed for two players. So I won't be able to open this in the screen over here. But it looks like it's also the X-Men logo again from the movies. And here are the punch out tokens. Oh man, unfortunately they are not double sided. Okay, let's put that aside. X-Men logo as well. And here we got the A deck and the B deck. So let's take a look and okay, it's Wolverine. 
we did give a quick view of the previous one, uh, the B deck, which is Professor X. So it looks like it's a X Men versus X Men deck, Wolverine versus Professor X. That's very interesting. And we got Wolverine over here, Mutant Power C. I have no idea what this means. It looks like we got Jean Grey, who does not look like how she looks like in the movie. We got Rogue. Okay, that's very nice. And we got Saber too. Interesting. Looks like we got a couple of villains like Toad as well. Okay, so there are five um, heroes and villains total. And look at that ass on Cyclops. And we got an agility trial. We got Nightcrawler and Beast who did not appear in this very first movie. Same with Colossus as well. And Blood Feud. Looks like Wolverine and Magneto are teaming up together. And we got Toad fighting bees. And we got Psylocke. Okay, got a couple more cards. I believe that's Joggernaut. Am I right? And we got Mr. Sinister. Looks like it's Joggernaut versus Gambit. I believe that's Gambit. Colossus punching Mr. Sinister. And we got Bishop against Magneto. And one thing I really like is that... Uh, the costumes that you see over here, even though they did not appear in the movie, they are designed the same way as the movie characters. There's Jean invading Juggernaut's mind. We got a Berserker Rage Wolverine. And Rogue and Magneto. Like the scene in the movie. Let's put the cards aside. Let's take a look at Deck B. First off, we're going to start with the Professor X. Looks really cool. Looks quite evil. <laughs> and let's see. What do we have over here? Professor X. We got Cyclops. Very nice artwork. We got Storm. And we got Magneto. Okay. Mystique. It looks like Magneto and Professor X are teaming up together to fight against Wolverine and Sabretooth. We got Lady Deathstrike and Marrow. Lady Deathstrike who appear in the second X-Men movie. We got Angel who appears in the third X-Men movie. And that's the Alien Brood. We got Beast again. Now, I do not know what all these cards do. But it's very nice to see these artworks that were based off the movie. I was actually quite surprised that there weren't too many movie stills that you find in these cards, especially the game being based on the movies. Got Psylocke again. Also in that X-Men inspired costumes. We got the Goddess Storm. We got Professor X with Cerebro and a Follow Me card to end off this deck. So uh, yeah, I find it very interesting that we got both Professor X and Wolverine as the main heroes. We got Jean Grey as well, and we got Storm and Cyclops. You know what? Let me let me just take all of them out. Oh, we got the um, Toad and Rogue over here. We got Magneto and Mystique. So we got a total of one villain, two, three, four villain cards. Okay. And we got one hero, two, three, four, five, six. We got six heroes. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. Do give a like and subscribe. Thank you.